All right, y'all. I'm here with my boy, Pillsbury. We're heading down to this creek we were at earlier the other day, and we saw a huge carp in it, so we're gonna be making a spear. We're gonna try to get him. There's a little uh, a pipe going over the water that we can spear off of. We'll see him come up beneath us. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna try to catch him. Yeah, so here's the creek. Comes up from a, a little lake over there. Tons of tons of bass and stuff in here. Do not attempt at home. Oh, check it out. Where'd he go? Oh, check him out. So let's go make the spear. All right, so this carp is pretty big, so we're gonna need a really heavy tree or spear to actually be able to puncture it and hold it down. Oh, dude, this would work. This right here. Yeah. Sorry, tree huggers. Yeah, we're gonna cut down a tree, but we need to eat, so. Yeah, I stuck on that tree over there. There we go. Clear this stuff off. Alright, so this is the heaviest side. So we're going to use this as the, uh, the spearhead. So what you want to do is just cut into it. Basically in the middle like this, split all the way down, go at it like that again. I'm just going to split it into four separate prongs so that they're, they're bigger and they're not going to break off as easy on, uh, on the carp, especially if you miss. The little ones break off real easy, so it's better just to keep them strong sometimes. So just find two vines like this or sticks or anything. Basically we're just going to wedge them in there. You can see something like that, we're just gonna keep hitting them further back down on there. All right, so we're just about done. As you can see, for the last finishing touch, I started whacking with that, so I had to throw a couple more vines in there just to keep it, just to keep it from falling apart. But now I'm gonna get a uh, vine and weave it around the uh, four prongs to give it some strength. All right, so I got the vine all beautifully weaved up in there. Not really, this isn't the most beautiful spear I got, but we're gonna sharpen these out, and this will definitely do the job. All right, so I sharpened it. It's pretty good. It's good to go. Let's go. You might want to practice your throwing first. Casanova's going to catch a little brim for you. Using a little wormy. Casanova pulled out a small one. How big of a chunk you like? It's probably good. We put a bigger hook on there, as you can see. This part right here, this would be a good, good chunk. All right, let's go to the creek, cast them in. Okay. Let's grab our, grab our spear. There we go. Just gonna get ready like this. Hold them over. Headshot. All right, we just spotted him. Slowly making his way up the creek. That dark shadow moving in the water right there. That big old thing. He's going to the dark. He was just fishing with a chunk of meat. He swallowed that. He got himself a very small to catfish. Let's fish with it. <laughs> Look at that chunky guy. <laughs> Now Woo. you're taking it off. I like it. Bro, you caught it. I'm not taking Catch it. Take it. You got it, dude. You have to. It's yours. <laughs> well, we waited about two hours for the carp to swim underneath us, but it hardly moved more than a couple feet. I even moved down the bank, hoping to get a shot on him, but he was too deep. All right, we moved away from the tube because we weren't seeing anything, but I'm going to check down at the bottom of this dam. Usually a lot of catfish at the bottom, so they're just hanging out. Might be able to get a shot on them. All right, this is how you catch a turtle. Oh, yeah. Check him out. Oh. 
grab me a little bit. Nice turtle, check him out. Woo! Anyway, nice size slider. We're not gonna eat him, sadly. Which we really could. Anyway, we're gonna let him go. I know it's sad watching an urban hunter lets us go, but. Yurtle! Escape! Dun dun dun. Yeah, they like to hang out along the edge of the deer. You think you got him? We got him. Yeah. Check that out. Let's go. All right, we will be eating well tonight for sure. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> it's not a huge catfish, but it's good enough for tonight. Makeshift spear. Yep. Told you it'll work. Look at that blood. That's all. Yep. Bogey on the move with our catfish. Alright, I'm gonna clean them off down here by the where the water's flowing. The only thing you're gonna be need to worry about on catfish is the barb, which is right here. That can go right up your finger if you're not if you're not paying attention. It's really sharp. Just... Oh, right on here. Your head is off. All right, just take all the intestines out. Just rip them out. Now you just skin it. Pull it like this. Look at that meat. Looks pretty good. Just continue this all the way down. Without pliers, it's really hard. But you don't always have pliers, so. There we go. Most of it's off. Zip on it with your boot like that. Pull up. And there you go. Finish cleaning this out. Now he's basically ready to go throw on the fire. I'm just gonna cut off his tail real quick. Check out all this meat we just got off of him. I'm just gonna rinse him off real quick. He's good to go. Let's go. I'm just gonna cut it fillet by fillet. All right, I'm just gonna cook these little fillets first. I like cutting them up because then it cooks more evenly throughout the whole fish. <laughs> cooking them over here. Catfish do have a lot of parasites since they're bottom feeders. They just suck up a bunch of the, the muck on the bottom of the, the lake. So they get all kinds of things in their system. So you really want to cook these thorough. All right, it's getting there. All right, it is pretty, it's looking pretty black, but you know it's cooked. I'm just gonna cut into it. Look at that, see? It is well, it is well cooked for sure. I'm. A little nervous to try this out, but you know what? Here it goes. All right. Not too bad. Tastes like seafood. I mean, it's really not that bad, but 
It's better than snake, I can say. All right, gonna cook the last little bit. Thanks y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanna let y'all know, some of y'all probably know I'm sponsored by Deer Hunter 2016. But if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the game, I have it linked in the description. It's a free app, you can download it. It really helps support urban hunters. So if you guys could do that, that would be awesome. Till next time.